Hello, this is a tutorial on the new artifact collection tool. The purpose is to help with the collection and analysis of teacher artifacts for the Massachusetts Educator Evaluation System. The goal is to help facilitate deeper conversations between educators and administrators. So you will receive an email with a spreadsheet attached to it. Uh, this is the tool that you will use to collect your artifacts. It looks like this. So let's walk through some of the essential elements. First, you'll see in column B, it says URL. This is the area that you are going to um, paste in a link to whatever artifact it, that you are submitting. Um, there are a couple different ways to do that. If it's uh, a link to uh, an internet resource that you may have used, you'll want to go out and, and take the URL and paste it in. If it's a resource that you that is residing in your Google Drive, it's a little bit more complicated because you need to ensure that it is shared. So you could paste in a link, but if your administrator clicks on the link and you haven't given that person permission, then they won't be able to see what you've submitted. So let's look what that, let's show you what that looks like. Here I have a presentation that I've created and I want to submit that as one of my artifacts. The very first step is you'll want to go up in the upper right hand corner where it says share. You want to click the blue button and a window will pop up and very simply it'll say get shared link. You'll want to click on that and it will give you a link um, so that anyone within the district that has the link can view that artifact. And that's basically the permissions that would be um, necessary for the administrator to look at it. So, and it's conveniently already been copied to um, the system. So you just have to click done, go back to your tool, and you can then paste in the URL. So there it is. The next part is the rationale. Here you want to help the administrator understand the connections between the artifact itself and the elements of the teacher rubric. And here there's a couple different ways that you can tackle the problem. One, you can type into the box very simply. And I have some, some generic language here that I can copy and we can just paste right in. And it's there. It's uh, it's not the prettiest looking, and but it's it's readable so that it works for most of our purposes. If you don't want to do that, another way is that you can create a doc, a Google Doc itself, and just like with the artifact, you can click the blue button, the blue share button, get a shareable link, and then link to the rationale. So you can just paste in. Um, the link right right there. So now that you have submitted the URL and the rationale, you'll want to then um, let the administrator know the, um, the elements that it connects to. And for our purposes, I'm going to paste them in here because th this first row is just an exemplar, uh, but I want to show you some uh, a very nice feature. Let's imagine that that this artifact relates to element 1A1. If you've noticed, I can hover over 1A1 and it, and it gives me the proficient language, uh, which is a convenience. If you don't know what 1A3 is all about, you can just hover over and understand kind of the, the essence of what it's looking for. And you can do that for all of the elements in the rubric. And let's say you've made a determination that it applies to 1A1. It says, please enter X. Right, so what if you don't listen to that and you, you type in a bunch of stuff? It will then give you a warning that says, please enter X only. So you can go back, lowercase or uppercase, it doesn't matter, you can put in an X. And what, what you see is that it has turned green, saying that that's, that's a visual cue that you have um, submitted um, or made the connection between this artifact and this element. Additionally, the element itself has been highlighted saying that this element has been covered by at least one artifact that you've submitted. So you can go along and add multiple X's. If it's a, if it's a stellar uh, artifact, it, 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 I'm sure it will apply to multiple elements. Um, 
And if you notice here, I just, we made some color coding. So everything here in yellow relates to the standard one. Everything in this purple color relates to standard two. We can scroll over and you can see the color coding for standard three, standard four, and then your professional and student learning goals are at the end. Um, <clears throat> so there's, there's some formatting here that if you just put in an X, you'll get some visual cues. What's nice about that is at, as you, as you go on, you will uh, be able to really get an understanding of which elements have been covered, which ones haven't been. The ones that haven't been highlighted in green, obviously, are the ones you need to um, to attend to uh, most. So, hopefully, this is a tutorial that's helped you. I'm going to uh, link this YouTube video to this upper um, right hand cell. If you have any questions about what to do, you can always rewatch this video. Hopefully the uh, answers come to you. And if not, you can always reach out to your building administrator. Hopefully this helps.